Hello, this is Owen from Tuber Pro LED Lighting Inc. So today I want to showcase uh, how to use the Facon software to control your LED sign. Uh, for the software, you want to install the FK Show 5.0. I have it already installed. So if you don't, please go ahead and install it and then you can uh, unpause this video to follow the guide. Now, uh, once you finish installing the software, you can double click on the FK Show 5.0 and I'm going to allow the software to run on my desktop. So once you are inside the software, this is the first UI is prompt to you. The first thing you want to do is go to your Wi-Fi and connect to your Facon controller card. So your Facon controller cards will always start with FK. For me, this sign I am connecting to, uh, the Wi-Fi name is FK-AF1-0584. So once you uh, click on it, it will prompt uh, you to enter the password for the Wi-Fi. For the default password, it should be 8 Eight, so uh, should be eight, 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 and uh, so once you're connected, you should say no internet and secured. Um, yeah, so don't worry about this message because you're not supposed to get internet from your uh, sign. So once you connect to it, go to setting on the top and click on the display setting. It'll ask you for password. So you can put three eight 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 for the password and click OK. Once that's done, the display setting UI will be opened up. And what you want to do is first thing first, check make sure you have the correct controller card selected. For me, it is FK F one. If you're not sure, you can click on this button, Control Card Detect. So you click on that and you will say there's a loading bar. Once it hits 100%, if it's successful, you will say succeed, succeeded. Um, and then you will select the correct card for you. Also, you want to make sure you click on the Wi-Fi direct. And once you've done that, go to next, uh, the display parameters. Uh, on this tab, uh, don't change anything. First thing you want to do, if you have a seven colored sign, you want to click on the full color display over here, the color type. And on the right hand side, make sure you go to custom module for the seven color. Once again, go to the custom module, select 32 by 16 for the P10 module. Once you select that, um, the size window should change. And also for me, I have a three by one uh, LED sign, which means three panels in one row. And so sometimes you may have a four by two, that means four panels by two rows. So your screen size will be a lot bigger than what I have right now. But for this tutorial, I only have three by one. And once you select that, uh, make sure the this part is you don't you you don't want to touch this part. So keep it positive. Uh, active, low, and normal. So click next, and you want to make sure this is highlighted. The number five, the scan way, number five, scan down like snakes, one time with eight rows of data and eight columns warp. Once you have that, click finish. And at the bottom, you should say Wi Fi Direct Connect. So that means your controller card is connected to your computer. Um, okay, so now we are a, we are at the point where we can design our advertisement or our message here. So first thing is this three by one is very small, very tiny, it's very hard to read. What you can do is you can click over here, zoom in the view of the display, click, click, Click and then now you have a good view of what's on the screen or what's gonna be on the screen. So what you wanna do is you wanna let me delete this first. We can create a program next time. 
or now. So we, we want to create a new program. Uh, we want to add a common program. Now we have an empty program. In this program, we can uh, add text over here. And I'm going to stretch the text, stretch the text to the full screen. Um, and as you can see at the bottom of this UI, you can edit your text over here. Let's say uh, this is my this is my ad. And you can change the color of the word to uh, any color you want or you can have or if you want go fancy you can go like uh, the seven colors in uh, all different all colors in different words but that looks that may looks too busy um, personally I just change it to purple to uh, for testing purpose and then you can align center uh, vertically center too uh, let's say this is your first line. You can add a second line. This is second line. And this is third line. Now, let's say you have three lines of message. Um, you want the message to stand out. You can enable border on the bottom right corner. Enable border. Um, let's go with a colorful border. There's uh, many different border you can choose. I like this one. It's like Christmas Eve border. So I'll just put it there. And I'm going to change the display speed to 3. This is not 3 seconds. It just means it's, a, it's by software speed. And once you are done with the message, you can uh, identify or you can set the speed of the display. So that means for how long the message will stay for each line. And for now, uh, it's staying 3.0. This is not, again, this is not, uh, okay, so for this, this is seconds. So that means for three seconds, the first message will display. And then the next three seconds, it will display the second line. And then for the next three seconds, it will display the third line. And then you will look back to the first line. And you can add animation to this. You can add, uh, so sometimes I just keep it random because random, you will just randomly pick any animations animations from here. But if you want to see what each animation looks like, for example, move to the right, uh, speed, the one is the fastest, 20 is slowest. Let me go to like eight. And then you can do a preview uh, over here, click on preview, and then you'll see this is kind of slow. Yep, so this message will stay here for three seconds, and then the second line will come. This is the second line. There we go. Once you're satisfied with this, stop the preview. And you can just send it to your to your sign by click on the send on the top left. Click on send and go to single display. At the po bottom progress bar, you should say sending data at, or data sending. And once it's complete, it should be you should hit hundred percent and it should say complete. Now you have successfully sent the message to your sign. I hope this tutorial helps, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. We have left our contact information in the video descriptions. Thank you.